In my last video, we compared the features of four popular voice cloning platforms. In this video, we're going to look at how those platforms do with text-to-speech. We'll look at Eleven Labs, PlayHT, and Lovo AI by Jenny. In the voice cloning video, we also included Speechify, but I reached my character limit in Speechify rather quickly, so I don't have any left to test out the text-to-speech. For some of this testing, we'll have the AI voices read a little blurb that I wrote about the script. For the sake of time, sometimes we'll just play the voice with its stock script. Here we go. We're at play.ht. Let's go take a look and see what they have in here. A no-nonsense investigator, Tyler Elliott. A far cry from the roles for which he is best known. Pretty good. Let's see. Dude, I remember, uh... Yeah, it's crazy when you look at a 10-year-old, it looks like they're doing nothing, kind of like they're dumb and their neck's getting longer. But then, like, you hear the, a story like that, and you're like, yeah, they have this whole universe that's going on. What the heck? Okay, this is supposed to be Chris, a British male voice. But I'm telling you, that is Theo Vaughn, the comedian and podcaster. All right, I got to hear that with my blurb. Imagine being able to edit your videos or um, podcasts just by tweaking the text. Yeah, you, you heard that, right? The text, uh, it's like editing a document, but for video and audio, add to that one-click studio sound live text captions, automatic transcripts, an incredible stock media library, and you can see why I'm hooked. I've been using Descript for over a year now, and I wouldn't want to be without it. That is crazy, not just because that is clearly Theo Vaughn, but also, I also noticed that it like added in some words, like an uh and an um, it, it did like a false start, like a you you, which it sound, I mean, it just makes it sound 100% accurate. That's pretty impressive. Now, I'm not going to use Chris, the British voice actor here, because clearly that is Theo Vaughn, and I highly doubt, since it's listed in here as a British accent Chris character, that Theo Vaughn has authorized the use of his voice for this. So I imagine someone got it snuck in there. I'm not going to use it, but it is super cool how authentic it is, and that's encouraging about PlayHT's process or models or whatever they're doing that makes it work so well. If you look at it from an audience point of view, there are people who are very excited to be part of it. And then there are people who are just like, well, when the information we hear in the news is inaccurate or incomplete. But then advances no further for the next 16 hours, not until almost 8.30 in the evening. Trying to get an appointment to see your doctor. I didn't mean to leave you in the lurch like that. Next time, shout and I'll come running. For the past 10 years, I've been keeping this little notebook with a scratch pad that I call... You see that? Money wisdom. <laughs> Reminders to self. Like many other philosophers, Galileo had a remarkable aptitude for the invention of instruments designed for philosophical research. Pricing for PlayHT starts with a free plan at zero dollars. That's 12,500 characters, and I'm guessing that's, I don't know, lifetime. Get you one instant video clone and access to all the voices, no commercial use, and you do have to attribute to PlayHT. The creator plan at $31 a month or 374 a year, up to 3 million characters or about 70 hours per year. So that's like five and a half hours a month, 10 instant voice clones, commercial use and faster generations. Then in the unlimited plan at $79.20 a month or $9.50 a year, unlimited characters. There's a star next to that. I'm guessing that means if you go absolutely crazy, they can put the brakes on you. Unlimited regenerations, unlimited instant voice clones, one high High fidelity clone and for the high fidelity clone it says to upload two to three hours of audio for the best results all voices and languages commercial use faster generations overall i'm really impressed with play ht's uh, text-to-speech and their voice cloning both are just really good and i like that you also have the ability in the text-to-speech voices to do some tweaks that you can't do in a lot of the other softwares like changing the speed of the voice and a couple other adjustments you can make to help get exactly the voice you're looking for. And I'll have a link to this in the description as well. So now let's go to Eleven Labs, which has done very well for me. I've been very happy with them. As far as Eleven Labs voice library goes, they have plenty. Go through a couple here. It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. The beginning of knowledge is the discovery of something we do not understand. The world is round, and the place which may seem like the end may also be the beginning. Where there is great love, there are always miracles. May our heart's garden of awakening bloom with hundreds of flowers. Either you run the day or the day runs you. 
A failure is a man who has blundered but is not capable of cashing in on the experience. So lots of good options there in the voice library. No shortage within 11 labs. In addition to the voice library, you also have the pre-made voices that 11 labs features, which are pretty heavily used. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as you choose. I'm sure you've heard those in videos and shorts all over the place by now. So the trick is to find a voice that sounds really good, but isn't already being used everywhere. Pricing at 11 Labs is really pretty darn good. So the free plan gives you 10,000 characters a month, up to three custom voices, create random voices using voice design, 29 languages, dubbing from 57 languages into 29 languages for up to 2,000 characters per minute. And it does require attribution to 11 labs. The starter plan at just five bucks a month, which your first month is 80% off, so a dollar a month. Same thing you have in free, but 30,000 characters a month, 10 custom voices, commercial license included, so you do not have to attribute and access to instant voice cloning. The creator plan at $22 a month, 50% off your first month, so $11 for the first month, takes you up to 100,000 characters per month, which is about two hours of generated audio using text to speech. You can do 30 custom voices. And you also get the professional voice cloning of your own voice. My understanding is that the turnaround time for that, though, is about four weeks once you've submitted your files. And then, of course, the plans go up in price from there. 11 Labs has added the speech-to-speech -speech automatic voice conversion, which is really cool. And we talked about that in a video just a little while back. And they also have dubbing, which is fairly new. And this is where you can convert your audio files from one language to another, which is pretty cool. We're inside Jenny's Lovo AI, and I'm going to have these guys read part of a blurb I wrote about the script. Let's hear Paul. Imagine being able to edit your videos or podcasts just by tweaking the text. Yeah, you heard that right. Hey, that's pretty daggone good there. Let's see what else we've got. This guy looks interesting, Fabino Topshot. Let's give him a try. Imagine being able to edit your videos or podcasts just by tweaking the text. It's like editing a document, but for video and audio. Woo, okay. I don't really know what's wrong with Fabino, but I hope he gets that, that straightened out. All right, let's look at Eric. Are you looking for the perfect voice? Then I'm your best option. I don't know about that, Eric. Are you looking for the perfect? What the heck? Didn't need a daggone demon. Jeez. Are you looking for the perfect voice? Then I'm your best option. He sounds decent. Are you looking for the perfect voice? Then I'm your best option. Yeah, I don't think so, fella. Are you looking for the perfect voice? Then I'm your best option. Let's give him a shot. Imagine being able to edit your videos or podcasts just by tweaking the text. It's like editing a document but for video and audio. Not bad. Who else do we have here? Let's look at some global voice and see what that is. I assume these are different languages, maybe? Okay, those of you that speak whatever languages those were will have to tell me if they were anywhere near accurate. I have no idea. All right, so let's go look at this advanced mode and see what it can do. I think we have a conversation going on. We have Sophia, Sean, and Chloe. Might be handy for doing a podcast. And it looks like we can add some resources here so we can put in video or images in this thing. Looks like they're just limited to Pixabay, but I suppose you could edit a video this way. I definitely prefer the script for this. Within the resources, it looks like you can also do AI art. So their suggestion prompt here is rabbits in a spaceship. So why the heck not? Let's see what that does. And by golly, we got rabbits in a spaceship. Those look pretty good to me. And let's see what subtitles, auto subtitles. Oh, we have to have the pro plan to get that. And what's TTS to subtitles? We have all these great options and it looks like they would be live text where the word that's being spoken is highlighted. But when we play through them, press generate on the right to generate. We find that that doesn't exactly work and I can't figure out if there's some place I'm supposed to turn that on separately. It's not obvious. All right, so pricing here, free, no credit card required for individuals that could show a 14 day free trial of pro and unlimited sharing, no downloads, no commercial rights. The basic plan, $24 uh, per month, which is gonna be 288 a year. Uh, gets you five voice clones, two hours of voice generation a month. The pro plan is $24 right now. I don't know if that's an all the time sale or a just now sale. 
that would make it the same as the same pricing as basic and gives you five hours of voice generation a month. So that'd probably be the better way to go if it's something that you're interested in. And then you can move up to the Pro Plus plan at $75 a month. Looks like that is on sale right now too. Again, I don't know if that's a all the time sale or if this is a, a grab it while you can kind of deal. What do you think? I've been a big fan of 11 Labs, but Play HD really impressed me. But is there something else? Is there something better or something else you want me to check out? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.